Right, good morning. Um, today we are going to be working on um, two matching bowls. So again, I'm going to kind of go through throwing a bowl and kind of show you um, how to, um, you know, make one. And then I will do um, a time lapse for the second one. So again, we're going for a set. Um, so you should start with the same amount of clay for both. So both of my little mounds of clay are about a pound and a quarter, um, which is the amount of clay that I usually portion off for you. So um, as long as you, you know, wedge it well and get it kind of going, um, you should have about the same exact amount of clay for both bowls. Um, so again, just make sure Press it really well on there. Get just some of my tools out of the way here. Plenty of water. Get that speed going to a speed that you're comfortable with. And then again, so coning, squeezing that clay into the center, and then pressing that clay down. And again, cone a couple of times just to kind of make sure that your clay is perfectly in the center. Um, setting it as close to that circle that you made as possible is really the way um, to kind of get it there. But this is, you know, the next step to just getting it all to work with you for the entire time that you're throwing. And you can tell, like, even just looking at it, it looks a little bit off, like it's maybe chasing a tail, okay? So, really focusing on squeezing that clay. And all my power is coming from my kind of shoulders. My arms are resting on my legs so that I'm not um, wobbling around. My left hand is always here as this wall to kind of keep the clay um, in the center as I do the coning up and down. Okay, and you can see that's starting to look a lot better. And I'm just gonna kind of even out the sides. With my favorite trusty rib tool. So eyeballing it, it looks pretty centered to me. Always check it with your needle tool. And this will also give you your spot where you can open the clay, right? So circle directly in the center. My left hand is holding my clay wall. My right index finger is going three quarters of the way down into the clay and then pulling it straight out. And then I'm going to start pulling the clay towards me. Right, and remember as you are opening that you're pulling straight across the wall. You're not pulling up like this because then you're gonna have these really weird, unevenly thick um, walls. And then as you open, you can fit kind of more of your hand in there. And again, notice I'm bracing my two hands together. My elbows are braced on my legs. Um, there's, no, there's no room to wobble here. And then just kind of pull it as wide as kind of like you would a cylinder. There's gonna be plenty of room to make the bowl even wider once we kind of pull it up the wall. Um, but start with a pretty decently wide piece because again, we are making a bowl this time, not a cup. Um, and not kind of similar to when you were doing your chia pet, right? You're trying to make something a little bit wider. It's kind of absorbing this clay I got in here and it was getting a weird little lump in the middle. So I'm just kind of pressing that down with my sponge tool. Okay, so once you've gotten it to a pretty decent width, then of course it is time to pull up the wall. So one hand is on the outside, one hand is on the inside. And you're squeezing that clay and lifting it upwards. And squeezing and lifting, you don't wanna make it too thin right from the get because then it just makes it more and more breakable. 
Um, so again, I have a bit more clay towards the base, so that's giving me a lot more to pull, but the top is pretty thin, so I'm not overly pulling on that top part. I kind of stop once I get closer to that top. And just go really, really slow. Still got a weird little thing in here. Last time I did, I was like blocking the whole thing with my head. So I'm trying a different angle, which hopefully is a little bit better. Okay, and then think about once you have a pretty decent width, we're gonna kind of try to widen it out. I'm gonna have my bowls kind of go out and then I'm gonna kind of curve them up. So I suggest just kind of leaning the clay onto the outside hand and then pressing with the inside hand. Just ever so gently. You don't need to really pull as much anymore. We're just kind of trying to get that shape. You can also kind of curve by kind of curving your outside hand and then again, pressing that inside clay to kind of help follow it. And again, you do want to leave not too thin of a base because you do want to be able to trim a foot into your bowl because you want to be able to put, you know, ice cream or cereal or soup, rice, whatever style bowl you're making. Um, you want the food to be able to go in the bowl without falling out. And so you really want to make sure that you're trimming a foot into it um, so that you can glaze the majority of the bottom and just leave that foot kind of unglazed. So again, I really like the sponge just as kind of a tool to use while I am forming the shape of whatever I'm making because there's less room for error than you have when you're using kind of like your hands. I'm just kind of playing around with the shape, kind of rounding it from the base and kind of pulling it out further. If you have more clay, you can start to kind of widen as well once you get kind of like your desired shape. Just be really careful again, the, the thinner that your walls get and the more that you mess with it, the more precarious your situation becomes. Um, so again, the goal would be at least four inches. So I'm at five for for it right now, which is good because I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to go for like cereal or maybe a salad bowl. So I do want to have a decent amount and I do want it to be kind of more of a rounded shape so that it'll kind of hold all that milk in there without sloshing out. So again, think about the functions of different bowls that you've used, what those look like. Um, as you're kind of designing your bowl and thinking about what kind of bowl you want to make. Because um, the, there can be many different shapes that you can kind of create through the wheel. Depending on your preferred style. Um, I'm going to kind of just use the rib tool to kind of even out that base of my foot there. But I like the shape the question. I like it. I feel like I want it to just be a little bit more rounded though. I'm just going to start kind of curving that top edge in. Teensy bit. And again, love the sponge. For this, it's kind of looking a little bit more like an ice cream bowl because I eat a lot of cereal so I don't know if this is necessarily a perfect cereal bowl but I kind of get the gist so think about you know just really pressing out curving over to get that kind of more rounded flattening out onto your hand if you're looking for more straight like a rice bowl salad bowl type thing um, and again you'll have plenty of room to kind of edit when you trim the real trick is to just not mess it up while you're throwing it. So again, I feel like I'm pretty good. I'm gonna carve my little edge just to make it easier to cut it off. Detangle 
my wire, which is always tangled. Okay, choke up on the wire right behind your pot, drag it straight towards yourself so that you don't cut into your precious bowl that you just made. And then tons of water on here to be able to kind of gently kind of nudge it over. We did kind of cut into it a little bit. Okay, so that is your bowl. Again, so mine ended up being eh, four and a half since I kind of rounded it in. Um, so again, we're going for at least four inches just because of how much clay you have. And then you can play around with the height. My height is about two, so it's not too, too, too tall, but it is, you know, cute little bowl. I'm gonna do a little time-lapse of the second one so that you can see me just making a second one and try my best to get, um, to get them to be the same because the whole goal is that you're making this like dish set where you're gonna have these two bowls, the two tumblers. We're gonna do two plates after a break. So you'll have like a whole set of dishes by the end of the year. Um, okay, so good luck with your bowls. Be patient, go slow and good luck. Bye.